how are you all hope everything is good in this tutorial we have discussed about what is component and how we have create one basic component in our angular application i have opening my angular application by using vs code this code will be find in description section in the git git link you can clone my project by using git link my, my git link will be project will be public then you have no issue to the cloning the project so i am running that application we have writing command like ng serve that will be run my application angular application aside we have discuss about some basic understanding of the angular angular is basically made up of component means we have one one complex project then we have uh, many uh, logic in that project then we have divided that pro project logic in various component is known as a component basically our basically root component will be the app component is this com co component and then this component we have html file for dom data and ts file for our some business logic the question is our mind how is angular uh, angular component will be triggered the simple answer will be that we have opening the index.html file and index.html file will be called the app model dot ts file in that in the app model dot ts we have main dot be ts file we have seen that now uh, app app component and that main dot ts file we have this platform browser dynamic and bootstrap module app module this will be the main dot ts file in this we have angular application will be running in app model dot ts file we have ng module that will be describe how, how properties some properties like script uh, declaration imports and providers and bootstrap this will be provide some app app component means basically it will be boot the app component like this we have uh, one one means we have creating web page now then we have multiple component i will showing by using paint in we have one our screen then we have one our url our local host url now then we have some component like that this will be one component 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 and then name will be that like that we have some business logic in that one in one component business logic at one component three component two component three component four component five this is basically our angular application web project will be made upon various component but keep one things in mind angular is like a like not a end of the javascript it a javascript framework changing the dom 
at run time we have start with the com component we have uh, creating one component in the our code in angular component is very important basically root component is very important then we have index.html file to the add to the this will be add to the app component.html no here then we have create one component then we can create one folder in the app then we have create one file like ts and then in, in this file we can write some code to run the we have write some code we have one class like we have one annotation like add it add it component and then we have selector we have template url like we have added one page we have not added this this uh, html page uh, in that component we have added added later sometime uh, then it will be we have uh, adding one component page like in that server this is html file then we have writing the code like like Server become server component dot HTML. Maybe component like not found error. Template URL server component dot HTML. Cannot find a template server component or test. We have template here, then why this error showing?
component Uh, there will be some typo in our uh, project we have like this error will be gone okay then uh, we have added some html class in the in this project then we have to add component in our app modeler.ts file in app modeler.ts we have add declaration tag we have added server component like that then we have closing all the tags and we have running the project then we have open the browser window and we have opening the local host then you can see that why this is not showing server component dot image okay then we have add to the in the line break and we have add our selector in that in that selector in that app component dot html file our selector is like that app server now then we have add to app server selector in that file inside the curly brace we have see that file then we have check that see that the server will be here then we here we can add the server like that we have add manually server in the command form like nggc server2 like that by using command form you can also create a component there will be no issue see that server2 component will be created and this is will be the automatically generated code we have written now this is automatically generated code like that meanwhile i deleting that uh, component and basically we have manually created this component because of understanding in next tutorial we have learning learn about what is the use of various component and how to connect the component and how to service like that uh, in this tutorial uh, it is enough we have wind up this tutorial uh, thank you guys seeing my tutorial please subscribe my channel and give me support thank you bye